it's it's hard for um, attractive women also to to make friends. Yes, very much so. There's so you, many of them that I've that I've met don't. If they do have friends, they're very they're not competitive. Yes. That's the key. A very unattractive female would be friends with a particularly attractive one. Yeah, it has to be um, a woman that genuinely is happy in her own circumstance. And there is zero competitiveness. But if there's even one thing that she sees in your life that she wants, and that could just be male attention, it could be the uh, appreciation you get from other people, it could be anything. Unfortunately, the relationship starts to deteriorate from the inside out. And it's very difficult because this is the thing where guys always say, oh, men and women and can't be friends but from my personal experience if if, we, if you're an attractive woman if you don't have any male friends you're going to suffer in the form of very competitive female friends so you're going to be very lonely you're going to have to find friends somewhere um so it is very difficult have you noticed that with women as well that they tend to be very competitive but this is why i just so i find the whole movement of being a feminist and whole like girl power and girl's girl and i'm a girl's girl it's so fake it's so so fake like the reality is it, it, why would i why is there girl code girl this when you guys are the first to throw each other under the bus if you're both after the same guy or if you see someone who's more attractive it's it's fake girls only show girl code when or are only like supporting other girls if they don't see them as a threat the moment that girl is a threat in any way shape or form then girl code goes out the window there's never girl supporting girls it goes the gloves are off so that's why I've never bought into this whole like feminism nonsense. Yeah, men don't. All right. Just wanted to add a little bit more to the to the topic. Go ahead, Closet Batty. What are your thoughts about that? You agree? You agree with what people saying on the panel? Yeah, I'm mute just so you know. Come on. All right. Um, I agree, pretty privilege is real. Um, and it's a gift and it's a curse, you know, and when you learn how to use it for a gift and a maneuver around it with the curses, then you're going to be OK. I feel like it's a gift because you are right. Whoever said about getting indoors that, you know, um, other people may not have gotten in, you know, it's very common to you know, be invited to sections or be invited to the front row somewhere or not have to stand in line or not have to pay, you know, um, you know, it does definitely have its privileges, but it has its curses because I understand that sometimes, you know, men may be intimidated uh, by someone, a woman they perceive as beautiful or too attractive for them, but it also exposes that women to a lot, a lot of men, because now she has a lot, a lot of choices because that pool is so big. I feel like sometimes it's harder to, to find somebody because you got so many choices. And honestly, the basics chicks be winning. You know, they stay in a lane, they got A, B, and C, they pick one and they done. You know, you got somebody that that's up here, they got A through Z. You know, and it gets a little bit harder to to narrow it down and figure out like, well, you know, too many choices, you know, too many choices sometimes is a bad thing. So, like I said, it's a gift and it's a curse um, and kind of like what um, is that Casanova up there? Yes. <laughs> OK, we're saying about the business, you know, yeah, I honestly try to remain faceless, you know, in my business or put somebody else you know, as the face of it, or just basically make myself more uh, relatable um, sometimes, you know, kind of cover it up um, just so I could be hurt and it's not as distracting, you know, and it's sad it got to be like that. But, you know, over time, you learn, you know, how to move. All right, I'm going to go to Sweeney then, Mommy 3. Go ahead, Sweeney. Hmm. Um, I mean, it can be uh, extremely polarizing to be in the talent and tenth of, uh, to be in the top tenth of anything. There's always some uh, benefits or some problems that come along with it. The true question is, if you do fall in the talented tenth of any group, whether that's beauty, money, or otherwise, 
are you does the does the negatives outweigh the positives to where you're willing to trade that to fall out of it? That's pretty much all I got to say on it. Uh, so was that a question to to the panel? Eh, no, not really. But if they wanted to answer it, I, they I could. I did want to say something to that. Too. What was the question? Can you repeat? What, I mean, what did he say? Would you Can trade you your, your, Would you trade would you tra it? Would you yeah. trade beauty in order to not have the negatives of beauty? Hell no. That's tricky for me because I always said that I want you to see my brain first. So I felt like if, you know, I was unattractive, you know, I'd still be attractive because of my brain. But that's just me. I feel like my beauty is like my step into the door. You know, once I get you with that, it's like, oh, my brain. Oh, she's, oh, she's, oh, she's different. Oh, she got this going on. Oh, wow. So I it, I think I would never want to trade that in. I would never want to say, oh, I want to be ugly. No, I don't. Because me being who I am is what allows me to even get in that door that I might need to get to and I might need to play a little role. And then once I'm in the door, I'm boom, 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 boom. And I'm I'm just like a, a triple threat. So, you know, no, nah, I, I definitely would, would not want to trade. I think that's something that, you know, has helped me out. A lot. Even 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 when I talk about it in business, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's sometimes, you know, annoying, but it got me the bag. You know what I'm saying? It got what I it, I did what I needed to do. So, ow. I, I mean, I guess I understand that, you know. Um, but I I always thought, and maybe it's because I'm a little crazy, <laughs> you know. What? But I'm gonna tell you. Let me tell you. So, you know, I think every pretty girl knows we're coming along that there's always gonna be somebody who is jealous and who would take it away you know so you know i grew up in an era where people was cutting faces you know what i mean and you know you get jumped on you know they going for your face so in the back of my head i always felt like what do i have to offer if i lost my looks and i've been ready for a real long time to lose them because i didn't built up so much intellectually financially and everything else that I've done that at that point, you know, yeah, I, I guess I'll miss some of the privileges that came along with it, but I'm still going to be good. And I'm still going to be strong because beauty fades, you know, it fades with age. And again, it fade if somebody, you know, knocked you the hell out, but oh, your face up through faster. acid in your face, you know, <laughs> at what age do beauty start fading in your opinion for most people on average? I don't know if there's an age bracket on it, depending upon how well you treat yourself and what you do and the extent that you're willing to go to to maintain a certain level of beauty. Um, because I, Zah, you posted something the other day and she was 63 and she was bad as hell. Amazing. A fashion. <laughs> and although, I mean, if you would have closed up and looked up, you'd have been like, okay, she has some wrinkles and stuff. But the bitch had confidence, right? She was bad. Mm -hmm. She carried herself to where that wasn't even something that you would initially like question. So how old are you? Like, you know, until after maybe the fact you're like, you know what, you're kind of mature. And let me ask that question. I think beauty, beauty, age is just a, a concept. Time is like linear. I just don't believe in, you know what I mean? Like what that looks like or what that feels like. But you start when well, you don't take care of yourself and you dehydrate and you pop a pills and you drinking every weekend and you ain't doing shit, but uh, kicking it in the streets, it can hit you kind of hard. So I think it just depends on, where you're at in your life and what you're doing and how well you're taking care of yourself. Because I know plenty of 40-year-olds look better than these 20-some-year-olds out here right now. 